All right, we're gonna give you guys an update on our scaleless ball python clutch. It was so awesome. And uh, show you a couple of the tips that we got going on for keeping them. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I just want to ask you guys if you can do me a quick favor, hit that like button down below, give us a little subscribe, it helps us out. And uh, also take a good look at this female. So this is a female pied 50% het lavender, um, which means it's possible carrying the, the heterozygous gene for lavender. So uh, we're gonna be pairing her soon. She's up to weight and uh, hoping to hit some visual lavenders out of her this season. If we do, that'd be so cool. Some lavender pides. Mm, can't wait. So uh, stick around. We're going to just dive into some of these scaleless. So we're going to update you guys on the scaleless project we have going on. This female was the only female or the only snake out of the clutch that wasn't fully scaleless. This is a scaleless head and it's a pastel. But look how blushed out that head is. Unbelievable. You can see the scaleless uh, section of her head. She looks like she's going to be a little feisty right now, but she's really, really pretty for a pastel. Um, just unbelievable, super dark. There's a lot, a lot of orange peach here in here. It, it's just, she's really beautiful. Um, but scaleless head, female, pastel. They make these tiny little scales when they're uh, a scaleless head. So it's like, um, they're little like micro scales. Huh? Huh? <laughs> it's almost like it ups the DPI, if you will. It makes the, the image brighter, or I mean, uh, more sharp, I guess. So it looks just super clean. Scaleless heads are, are beautiful animals. So let me show you guys what the scaleless we got going on. All right. So this is the fully scaleless pastel female that we got. She is very pretty. Um, some people say even that the single gene pastel is even more beautiful than, than other genes that are out there. They feel amazing. Um, I'm just using gloves because I have them on. You don't, you don't need to. But beautiful, beautiful snake. You can see how blushed out the head is, how clean all the lines are. And it's all skin, no scales. Unbelievable. So we're going to show you now the other two. So this is a female. Okay, so this is the Lemon Blast. This would be a pastel pinstripe, scaleless. And this is also a female. So we got two females and one male. This is the female pastel pinstripe or Lemon Blast. Super white head. It, everything is just unbelievably clean. Um, with the scaleless, you can see that they don't have heat pits. So the scales actually create heat pits and these ones don't have it. This full scaleless don't have heat pits. So it's pretty interesting. Again, beautiful, beautiful animals. They seem to be doing really well on this alpha dry uh, cellulose bedding. Let me grab the last one. And this last one we have out of four eggs, three of them being scaleless. This is a super pastel pinstripe or a killer blast. What a beautiful male this is. So we got 1.2 or one male and two females of the pastel to pastel pinstripe pairing uh, for the scaleless heads. Unbelievable, they're so cool. If anybody wants to get into scaleless project, we have a trio that are just going to be amazing. We're not sure that we're going to let them go, but I think we I think we are since we're making probably going to make more. But let me show you guys this this guy's belly. You can see the skin just rolls around like anybody's skin. It's super cool. It's really really pink and clean. You see how nice it is. The snake is just kept so good it's so great scaleless uh, they're they're so fun i know a lot of people poo poo it but 
until you hold one in your hands or until you're working with them, you just don't know. They're they're awesome. I'm really enjoying it. Ryan's really enjoying it when he can get into the office uh, over here at R&B Reptiles. Ryan is not dead, <laughs> if anybody's asking. Uh, he and I are still great, great friends. Um, he's just busy with a bunch of things and he's not able to get on the videos as of late. But uh, everything's going great though. And hopefully things will lighten up for him and we'll be able to get him back and out in the world and back on video. But he does definitely work with the animals uh, when he can. And uh, yeah, definitely taking care of some great animals here. I mean, there's a time when Ryan and I first held the very first scaleless. Um, it was just a, it, it was a strange timing that we got, I guess, but we ended up at Brian Barczyk's house and uh, he said, yo, do you want to hold the scaleless? And we're like, of course, the first one in the world, I'm in. And uh, we took pictures, this is years ago now, just now to be able to say that we actually produced some and what a great project. Super fun. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. And uh, if you guys have questions, comment down below what you guys have questions about with the scaleless. And we'll tell you anything you need to know uh, that we've experienced or, or that we've read or heard or... Uh, yeah, things are going great. Thanks, Alpha Dry. This video has been brought to you by Alpha Dry, oddly enough. They're a great sponsor and uh, we look forward to working with them from now on. So guys, that is our scaleless project. I hope you guys are enjoying our updates on all these crazy projects we got going on. We still have some more eggs in the incubator. I can't wait to start cutting those. They should be in the next couple weeks. Um, and uh, we're cutting a clutch almost once a week, which has been fun and crazy. This is the male for the next clutch that we'll be cutting. This is a killer leopard clown or a super pastel leopard clown. And let me see if I can get his head out. I don't want to hurt him, but uh, <laughs> he's definitely shy. You can see this crazy clown and he's super pastel leopard clown, visual clown. He has really cool eyes. I really enjoy the eyes. Um, I don't know if we can get in there. You guys are seeing that, but he's a pretty one. We enjoy the clown gene. We have a lot of clown stuff going on. Um, haven't produced a lot of visual clowns yet, but we're getting there. And uh, he's paired to, for this clutch, a super pastel fire calico hidden gemoma. So it's a super fly calico hidden gemoma. And uh, we're excited to get some 100% clowns out of that clutch, but also to see what kind of crazy leopard hidden gemoma stuff we're going to get. Um, pretty exciting. So stay tuned for that one. Make sure you guys are watching our Herb House Rock podcast. We have a lot of crazy stuff going on with it. Uh, a lot of great people on. And uh, you guys, if you're not listening to it or watching it, you should be. Because, I mean, come on. But also, make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button down below. We're in a race with some of our friends, and we'd love to get ahead. So, <laughs> no competition, no competition. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys are hitting that bell so you know when we post stuff. And if you guys have any comments or you want to reach out, feel free. Make sure that you guys are bothering me because I really enjoy it. All right. Thank you guys so much, and we'll talk to you soon. So she's always trying to bite me. I don't know if we should get her in this video, but this is the Super Pastel Fire Calico Hidden Gemoma. She has a lot of fading in her. Some Darth Vader? No? No? <laughs> but she's always ready to go. She's beautiful. And uh, so tell us what you guys think, r and beers. I want to <laughs> I want to know what you guys think, r and beers. Uh, how do you, Comment down below what the r and beers shirt should say. Or how, what it should look like. Really? You're going to bite me net right now? Eh. <laughs> so... <laughs> She's always ready to go. I don't know why people don't think uh, arm beers is a good thing. Okay. You ready? Uh, I'm tired. That's the energy we need. Yeah, I'm real tired. I didn't sleep well last night. 
I, sw- I kept on w- waking up early, like, I should just get stuff done, because I want to leave already. Uh, to go to Arlington. Okay. I'm surprised she didn't bite me. She was, like, really ready to go. Okay. This one's always balled up. This is why they call them ball pythons. You can almost dribble this guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 